Holy Sundays by Gerald de Navier as a thought-provoking piece that delves into the intersection of religious beliefs, societal norms, and personal identity, making it a compelling subject for artistic exploration and interpretation. Let us uncover the layers of meaning within this remarkable work and gain a deeper understanding of its relevance. What do you see in the painting? As we can see from the painting, there is a woman who is veiled in blue with her large rosary and her hand on the bar of the gate. The background is red and orange which looks like fire and a psychedelic sky. We can also see demons playing in the background. Javier's use of mixed media allows her to produce aesthetically capturing works that ask viewers to reflect on how they can comprehend the sacred and spirituality. The medium used is oil on canvas. The artist of this work, Geraldine Javier, is a Filipina contemporary visual artist who was born in 1970 and is currently 54 years of age. She was born in Makati, Metro Manila, and received her degree in BS in Nursing, 1991. Geraldine Javier's perspective in art captures the social political views and historical circumstances and turns them into art. The art can be found in Pinto Art Museum located in Rizal, specifically in One Sierra Madre St. Grand Heights Subdivision, Antipolo City. Now, let us analyze the painting. This artwork by Geraldine Javier caught our attention because of the focal point, which is the girl holding a rosary and the bars of the gate. In looking for the focal point, principles and elements of art have a huge impact on it. It makes us understand how the artists use the different elements and principles in art to create a focal point and lead us to interpret their artwork. The eye movement that brings us to the part is one of the crucial parts we did. Our eyes look at what's prominent or has an emphasis on a certain artwork. Through eye movement, we were guided to the focal point of Javier's artwork. The uniqueness of this artwork to his other artworks is that Holy on Sundays is the only art that he did with this kind of color in contrast. There is a contrast between the warm and cool colors that represent different meanings, like heaven and hell. Since most of his artworks are only neutral and warm colors, there is no additional visual weight on them. In addition, there is an emphasis on the subject just like the lady holding the rosary and the bars of the gate has the effect of glow in the dark. There is an emphasis on the focal point. Most of Javier's artwork are about nature, flowers, branches of trees, patterns, and etc. But the Holy on Sundays is the only one with contrasting colors. The value of saturation of the color is radically distinct from other works of Javier. Iconographic elements are the symbols that give deeper meaning to an artwork. In Holy on Sundays, the iconographic elements are all religious symbols. The large rosary, which most of the religious people used to convey their faith by praying. Second, the veiled woman embodies the people of the church. The veil is sacred and means modesty and is used as a cover for the heads of people praying the church, especially the devotees. Third, as the figures at the back, the small figures that have devil's horns, which symbolize the devil figure amidst the women's prayer using the rosary. Fourth, the fire symbolizes hell as well with the color of the background, which is red and orange. Lastly, the three colors that are prominent in the artwork are orange, red, and blue, which symbolizes the religious color symbol of heaven and hell. The artwork Holy Sundays shows a dedicated believer in a strict and serious style of Catholicism, as shown by the veiled woman's big rosary, her grip on the gate, and the stylized flames and demons in the background. The title emphasizes religious devotion, 
which is harmonious with the artwork's general subject. The artwork's visual representation of religious symbols, such as the rosary beads and the gate, as well as the flaming and informal images in the background, provide evidence for the events depicted. The title Holy Sundays also reflect the religious commitment displayed in the picture. The visual reflects Catholicism impact in the Philippines, especially a severe and extreme strain of the religion associated with fear of hell and divine revenge, which can lead to life being restricted. This setting is relevant to the impact of religious traditions on people's mindsets and behaviors. This artwork can provide many feelings to its viewers, from surprise to contrast and irony. It challenges the regular Christian and Catholic beliefs about God, Satan, and other divine beings. Javier, the artist, does this by using a negative painting technique and colorful backgrounds which imposes an energetic and playful energy. Due to this, the artwork may lead the viewers to contemplate their previous beliefs. The art's mood is vague combining aspects of seriousness with fantasy. This helps to evoke opposing sensations and thoughts, countering the seriousness of devoted Catholicism with a light-hearted and ironic undertone. All in all, the painting's objective appears to be to critic how such a belief system can lead to a life of terror and self-imposed constraints. The artist employs a negative painting technique to provide a further level of contrast and surprise to the sarcastic portrait of a passionate believer. Is it a good art? Well, it is a good art because it talks about spirituality, faith, and the connection between religious imagery and modern society. This artwork perceives traditional Catholic symbolism and imagery in a contemporary context. She looks into the role of religion in Filipino society, especially as it relates to general culture and daily life. Through her art, she presents inquiries concerning how ideologies change over the years and how they interact with today's social conditions. We have no criteria when we judge art because we all know that aesthetics is subjective. But if we base it on our own perspective, we would consider it good art if it speaks, if the art was expressed in a way that could serve as an eye-opener for its spectators and the voice of the silent. Does the artwork qualify to this criteria? Yes, the art talks about how people are only holy on Sundays. Because as we all know, Sunday is when people are free and can go to church. It talks about believers who commit divinity only on Sundays, while they seen the other parts of the week. The painting Holy on Sundays speaks about Catholicism's seriousness about its rituals, divine retribution, and eternal dominance. It talks about how religious people assume the superiority of all people because of their beliefs. The Holy on Sundays highlights Javier's knowledge of connecting traditional and modern creative techniques while encouraging viewers to ponder the challenges of faith, culture, and identity in modern society. The Philippines has been a victim of Catholicism ever since the Spaniards came, specifically the Dominican priests who expanded their religious beliefs in the country. Even though we've already claimed our island, their religious beliefs still remain rampant in our country, which led to twisted stereotypes and discrimination. Always remember that art holds the power to provoke, inspire, and challenge our perceptions. And Holy Sundays certainly exemplifies this capacity. As you continue to engage with art in all its forms, may you carry with you the newfound perspectives gained from our analysis of this exceptional work. Thank you for watching.